I guess on Mardi Gras, 24 seven ice cream is only a myth. Good morning, I'm running just a little bit behind this morning. I slept in a little bit and uh, actually left my camera in my room. So hope you can hear me. I'm actually starting the day here in Guy's Burger Joint. It's 10.30, they actually close at 10.30 because on the Mardi Gras, and I think some of the other carnival ships now, Guy's is open for breakfast. So I wanted to try that out, but did not realize they closed so early on a sea day at 10.30. They'll open back up at 12 for lunch, but I'm gonna show you my breakfast burger this morning and uh, let you know how that is. The All-American and it comes with some fries. I already ate some of the fries, so they're a little bit more uh, there. Here it has tomato, mayonnaise, it has a fried egg on there, it has bacon, it has a, a whole hash brown patty right here, and then cheese, so. I'm gonna get into this. It looks like um, the egg has broken a little bit, which is awesome because it'll make the burger that much juicy. And of course, the wonderful carnival orange juice to wash it all down. All right, so enjoyed that guy's burger for breakfast, but also had to go to Shaq's Big Chicken and try out the chicken and biscuit. It's a honey chicken breast on a biscuit with, of course, these fries, which are heavenly. Um, there's so many breakfast places, so you sort of just have to try multiple on some days. And then also I got my favorite breakfast item on a cruise, chocolate milk. Now that we've had breakfast, good morning from the line at Java Blue. Gonna wait here to get some coffee, along with everyone else on the Carnival Mardi Gras. Here, that's what it is. But it sounds like you. It's good. You, you know. <laughs> Good afternoon, good afternoon. Let's do a Sea Day Ocean check. Look at that. Wow. Oh, it's my favorite, y'all. This is why I paid so much for a balcony cabin. To come out here and hear this and to see this just down below. All right, so I have been quite lazy today on the second sea day here on board the Carnival Mardi Gras. But right now, I'm gonna get into the action on some of the things going on around the ship. It's two o'clock, uh, it's currently about 20 minutes till right now. Gonna head down to Grand Central, Grand Atrium. John Held and Christine Duffy, the brand ambassador and president of Carnival Cruise Line, respectively, are going to be giving a Q&A with guests. So I'm gonna go down and record some of that for you to get featured here on the vlog so you're gonna see that and then also they're having a backyard bash down in guys pig and acre smokehouse uh, at three o'clock so just after that it's actually supposed to be the first time they've ever had one of these on any carnival ship so probably gonna go check that out and we'll see what that is but otherwise we're gonna be pretty lazy today not do a whole lot but just sit and enjoy views like this because what else would you ever want to do on a sea day right like just be in your balcony be cool and enjoy the ocean because this is this is next level, you guys. So we are here 15 minutes early exactly, and it's already packed, y'all. Shows you how many fans that John Held has from his Facebook presence, keeping folks informed of Carnival Cruise Line happenings. Wow! Welcome. Um, normally, those of you who uh, have cruised me before, and I do this, it's usually just me and a few stories, and we do a few questions. And without further ado, would you please help me welcome to the stage your people's president, Carnival Cruise Line President, the wonderful Christine Duffy, everybody. Were at home and not working, and many of them did not have the same 
government support that people in the U.S. had. And we'll look and see if we need to increase um, those uh, you know, requirements for everyone. Again, when we're in doors, when we're in enclosed spaces where there's a lot of people, where there's singing, all the things we learned uh, of how COVID is spread. So we're working very closely as an industry with the CDC. We have our own at Carnival Corporation a team of outside medical advisors. And so, as you said, we have learned, if nothing else, how to pivot quickly. And then we are also getting another shift. So Carnival is, uh, is taking a shift from our Italian brand pasta, and we are going to transform that ship, and she'll become a Carnival, an additional Carnival cruise ship. So even though we did retire or recycle all the four fantasy class ships during the pause, uh, by the end of 2023, we'll actually have more cabins to sell than we started with, so pre-COVID. But that's built really on the strength of our brand, America's cruise line, 14 U.S. home ports, and the ability for people to drive. Uh, I think 50% of the population can drive to a carnival cruise vacation in five hours or less. Another fellow Tennessean on board. Does anyone know who this is? I assume it's Jack Daniels because he's standing by a display of Jack Daniels. So I'm still the best. So right here on deck eight on the wraparound deck. Um, it's a little bit different from the deck eight wraparound it's actually deck five wraparound on the Vista class ships where you can walk all the way around the ship because now there's the section here that's actually the grand atrium this all glass section of the ship so it sort of creates a break in this overhang deck deck eight um, so you can actually walk all the way around you can see up there are some of those extended balconies they have in midship that extend um, out over the little hump is what i call it on the ship but yeah, so no more walking all the way around the ship on the uh, extended overhang deck. Basketball court, deck 18, mission. Attention, medical response team, medical response team. Basketball court, deck 18, mission. That didn't sound good, calling for the medical response team to the basketball court on the second, third day of the cruise. Um, so the backyard bash didn't stay very long. Uh, it was just basically loud country music. 
uh, and people dressing up in flannel shirts and cut off jeans to dance around and sing the country songs. It's kind of like Texas Roadhouse. If you've been to Texas Roadhouse, that's pretty much the feel. But good to see folks having fun all around the ship this afternoon as we continue to sail. I think we're just probably 150 miles now north of San Juan. So we've slowed our speed today. We're only going about 14 knots where we've been sailing about 18 to 20 knots so far on the cruise. So just enjoying the sea day. Going to walk around the ship a little bit more and check out what's going on some of the activities. But really just taking it low-key today and enjoying being on vacation on a brand new ship. favorite activities for folks on a sea day cruise ship bingo and they now have it in the grand atrium grand central atrium here so it's a little bit here quieter in the french quarter this afternoon uh, the brass magnolia bar one of the new venues to mardi gras that's not been on a carnival ship before and then there's this large seating area over here and just not a lot of folks out here right now uh, a lot of folks on the outdoor decks understandably so it's a beautiful day out and we come around the corner here to one of the more popular new venues on board the ship this is fortune teller and this place stays pretty full not too bad right now uh, but it but it has been some days uh, with every seat filled and i've heard several folks commenting on how good this establishment is so i know folks are really enjoying and appreciating this new addition and Christine Duffy herself said this morning that fortune teller is given the alchemy bar which is a very popular location a run for its money here on the Mardi Gras and more folks are cooking today we saw them cooking early yesterday morning and they're in there cooking again here at the carnival kitchen you can sign up to take cooking demonstrations and cooking classes um, this looks pretty neat I almost want to do it almost but cooking is just almost too much work when you're on vacation. Oh, it's fun with cooking. So they must, you know, make it fun while you're cooking dinner for other people. I think once you cook it, you actually get to sit here and enjoy it. They have a very nice table setting in here. They have these very helpful um, plaques all around the ship what deck you're on. Uh, they also point to this being the starboard side of the ship for reference, but it also tells you what you can expect to find on this area of the ship. So if you get off the elevators, which are right back here on deck six, uh, we're midship, and you come back here and you're like, where am I at? What is there to do? Sorry, this is deck six aft. And then you come over here and you're like, what's there to do? Or maybe you're looking for a particular venue. You can just come to these placards and you know, like say you're going to a fortune teller, it would say it's right around the corner here. So very helpful, even though it is a mega ship, there are lots of signs and signage to help you get where you're going efficiently. Stopping here now in Emerald's Bistro. Um, I've not seen a whole lot of people dining in here yet. They are open for breakfast, uh, lunch and dinner, I believe. They have a menu that's additional pay. I think it's more a la carte, you pay by the item, but uh, this is Emeralds, and it seems like it's been open pretty much all day since they do serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, but a very nice looking venue to dine here, right here in the heart of the French Quarter. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi. See, they got some tuna, they got some shrimp, they got lobster, they got oysters, they got crab claws, crawfish. So a wide arrangement of things you can get right here at Emeralds. And of course breakfast, and we are going to cover that here. Uh, I don't remember what day that is on my spreadsheet, but one day we'll be dining here at Emeralds, both for breakfast and then also for dinner as well. So it's 3.30, I'm walking through Lido Marketplace because I don't quite remember where I had in my grand plan to lunch today. So I'm gonna head to a trusty favorite, y'all. I'm headed back to Shaq's Big Chicken because it's amazing, even though I had breakfast there yes, this morning and I had lunch there like the past two days, I'm gonna go for a third day because it's that good. So that's how much I recommend 
Shaq's Big Chicken on the Mardi Gras. Hi, my name is Zach and I'm an addict. I'm addicted to this chicken. Look at this. Oh, now you guys know why I came back three days in a row. Look at that. This is the Uncle Jerome. It's Nashville hot chicken. It's uh, on the bottom there's pickles, mayonnaise, lettuce. Look at that. Chick-fil-A could never. And it comes with, this is extra fries. I said, can you give me extra fries? So this is like triple, quadruple the amount of fries you get. Normally it's just like a little handful right here, but you can ask for extra. These fries are bomb. Oh, can't help myself when it comes to big chicken. Why do you like Guy's Burger Joint? You need to get a hold of some of this. Well, good sea day evening to you. It has been the laziest day ever at sea. I've done nothing but lay around and eat, but that's what you're supposed to do on a cruise, right? Just wanted to run down real quick with you the plan of action for tonight. Right now, I'm going to head down and have dinner at Guy's Pig and Anchor. This is complimentary on the Mardi Gras. And it's actually, I think, just sort of open seating. You just sort of go and are seated. I don't think any reservations are required. So hopefully, I won't have to wait too long for a table, but I'll give you a full review of that when I'm done. Then also tonight is the premiere across all the Carnival fleet of Family Feud Live. And I think that's at like 10.30. And then there's one at 12 for adults only. So I'm gonna try to catch both of those. And I don't know if I'll be able to film much of those, but I'll try to highlight as much of that as I can for you here. So I'm gonna take you along with me. So let's get out and get the evening on board started. Well, it looks like a lot of folks wanted to go to Shebang tonight because uh, here's the current situation outside of it as we walk through to get to uh, Pig and Anchor. Pretty long line. Uh, wasn't like that the first couple nights, but I do know that Carnival has been heavily, the past couple of days with the cruise director and other folks, promoting that Shebang and Kachina are free and now complimentary for folks. And now the same thing as we come by Kachina. Huge long line, folks waiting uh, for a table there as well, just like with Shebang. Now I'm worried about what we're about to find down here at Pig and Anchor. So it is a 20 minute wait, she said, just for a table for one. So you're gonna sit here in the Heroes Tribute Lounge and just, uh, you know, listen to the music and wait until my table's ready. So here's the menu for the complimentary dining at Pink and Anchor. They have smoker aces. You can choose any three meats. They have a blue ribbon chicken, brisket. They have pulled pork butt, house cheddar sausage, and St. Louis rib. They also have some additional cost options such as broiled lobster and prime time prime rib. They also have daily specials. Today is Monday, so that's double down sticky pork belly. They also have a pig and anchor melt, and also they have maple and chili salmon. They also have sides, and then they have dessert options as well as a kids menu. So there are three swirls locations on the Carnival Mardi Gras, one on deck eight aft, summer landing, one here at Todd's Pool on deck 16, aft of Lido, and then one on deck 17, Air Guys Burger. Currently at 11 p.m., they are all down, so I guess on Mardi Gras, 24-7 ice cream is only a myth, right? Well, good, very late evening. It's actually almost 1 a.m. And you might be wondering, wait, what's happening? You were just showing us the menu to pick an anchor and suddenly we're back in your room. Yeah, well, about that. After I showed you the menu, I continued to sit there for probably 15 or 20 minutes. No one came to my table. Uh, didn't get any service at all, so I just got up and left. Actually didn't even eat dinner until hours later. I just got a pizza at Pizzeria Del Capitano. So um, I guess my review of Pig and Anchor is thumbs down because 
there was no service and I just didn't feel like making it an all night dining event. I figured if it's gonna take 15 or 20 minutes to even get someone to come by the table to bring a drink or something and take the order for food, that's probably gonna take a long time to get the food. So I just bailed. Maybe I'll go back later on the cruise, I don't know. I did hear um, from some other folks on the cruise though that dining was kind of a mess all around the ship tonight. I heard from some folks that they waited a couple of hours for their food in the steakhouse tonight. Some other folks said that the food in Cucina del Capitano, one of the complimentary eateries now here on the Mardi Gras, that they also had some very bad experiences with the food being cold, the food not being what they ordered. So sounds like they're having problems all around this ship with food right now and with service, the quality of service. So not really much to report on the food in tonight. The pizza was good, so I can say that. I also got a frozen uh, frappuccino drink down at Jabba Blue, and that was good as well. But other than that, just went to comedy, also went to Family Feud Live that was at midnight. That was the adult version. Uh, very entertaining. Uh, I think that's a great addition to Carnival Cruise Line. Of course, tonight was the first night that those Family Feud shows premiered on Carnival Cruise Line ships because the Mardi Gras will be the first ship to have those shows. And prize of $500 in Carnival cash. That's right, $100 each for your new cruise families. That's pretty good, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, so here's the first question. I don't know what the are. Let's have a look. All right. <laughs> Oh, we're going to have a good show tonight. <laughs> All right, we surveyed 100 married women. Top eight answers on the board. Name an animal that best describes your husband's lovemaking. It's been a great day. It's been a great couple of sea days. Now we're going to start the uh, two days in port, then another sea day, and then the final day will be a port too. So now we're starting our port days. Tomorrow the Mardi Gras is going to make our first port of call ever in any port, but we're going to be in San Juan, Puerto Rico. So I'll see you there very shortly because it's it's 1 a.m. and I think we're supposed to port by 7. So I'll see you very early tomorrow in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Good night, everybody.